Hey guys, this is Nervous Breakdown. So I'm going to show you today how to add in the plugin for the web browser because one of the things that's missing for the OBS is that feature. You see it on Windows, you see it on, on Mac OS, but not on Linux. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. All right, first is first, what we need to do is we need to download the file and then follow some commands. Once you accomplish those, you should be ready to go. So the first is first we need to do is go to the website, which I'll have all the links below the video. So when you go down to the description, you'll see everything step by step. So right here, you have to go to this website here. Once you get there, you're going to see this file that's going to be this name right here. It will be Linux Browser 0.3.1. Make sure it's a TGZ extension. Download that to your download uh, folder and leave it there don't unzip it don't delete it don't modify it just let it sit next thing you want to do is open up the terminal you'll end up being at the root because you need to you need to get access to to do these things so you have to get to the root so you have to go to the command prompt put sudo slash s enter then put in your password and then you'll be in a and it prompt with I think the red letter on it and those have I think your name or something you'll you'll find out once you're able to do that then you're going to do is you're going to take this you're going to copy this here this uh, this section right here it's going to make a directory and it's going to link to this right here so you copy and paste it to your terminal and enter nothing's going to happen it's just going to move to the next line the next one you'll do is you want to copy this right here and then paste it to the terminal now that one you're going to see some activities going through once that's complete go check your OBS and find out that there's a plugin so I'm going to show you real quick mine as you can see if you hit this right here Links browser then you can go to these websites that you use for your chat your layout for your notifications whatever it is and you can now start attaching them to it and you'll be good to go so that's all I wanted to show you today uh, if you have any questions or so just you know just go down to the comment and you know if you like the video just give me a thumbs up and again I'm willing to help alright guys take care